So in this example, if we need to identify if they're going to be parallel or perpendicular, um, basically, if you guys notice the definition, the first thing we're going to want to do is just identify the dot product. If the dot product is equal to 0, then we know we're going to have two orthogonal vectors. So again, to review the dot product, u dot v, all we're simply going to do is take the product of the first two components, add them to the product of the second two components. This times this plus this times this. So therefore, I get negative 6 plus 6. 0. They're orthogonal. Voila. Or why don't we just practice finding the angle between them? Because if they're orthogonal, meaning perpendicular, what angle should they be? What angle should we have between them? 90, right? Perpendicular lines have 90 degrees, right? So why don't we just go and practice that just to kind of verify using that other formula? So remember, the other formula is going to be the dot product divided by the magnitude of u, sorry, times the magnitude of v. So therefore, cosine of theta equals u dot v, which you already know is 0. Now, again, let's just practice magnitude. We don't really need to figure these out. But again, magnitude, remember, is first component squared plus second component squared, or the square root, I'm sorry, of first component squared plus sec second component squared. So this is going to be 4 plus 5 when you square them. So it's going to be the square root of 5. And that's going to be times, not dot product, but times. This is going to be 9 plus 6, that would be 45. Now again, that's a waste of time because 0 divided by anything is just going to be 0, right? Then we say, all right, theta equals cosine inverse of 0. So the, what, is the x, what is the angle that produces a x value of 0? So again, we say, all right, well, cosine inverse is restricted when the first and the second quadrant. And we're looking for the angle that produces x as 0, there, which is pi halves. And in terms of degrees, it's 90 degrees. So you can see that theta is equal to 90 degrees. You don't need to do this step. Once you get to the dot product equals 0, that's a part of our definition. You can stop. I'm just showing you how the other formula works as well. Okay.